Coming, cows. I'm coming. All right. Got cow food. We fed the goats. Fed the dogs. Cat's not here. Time to go feed the cows because they're balling. Cows are spoiled. Hungry? Who's in here bawling at me? Yeah, I don't think it was you. I think it was you. Not you, but you. All right. Molly, are you coming to eat?
Good night, Molly. Good to see you eating a little bit anyhow. I hope that's a good sign. So, Molly, the big black cow, has been sick. We got her up, uh, put her in there where the horse is now, and kept her for a few days, gave her some medicine. She uh, quit eating, uh, lost her appetite, just walked like she didn't feel good. She still walks like she doesn't feel good, but it's hard to tell. Ever since we got her, she's big and slow moving and never really been aggressive or anything like that. She's also never let me pet her before until she got sick. But when we bought her, the guy said that she would let you walk up to her in the pasture and pet her. Anyhow, I uh, put her up a few days. She ate one day. Uh, the next day, she really didn't eat. I noticed her manure. There were two spots after two days. One was a good, firm, what it should look like patty. The other one was runny and dark. The problem is, I didn't know which one came first. Kind of like the chicken and egg. I didn't know if runny was first and then she got better. So we left her up another day and there were four more good what they're supposed to look like patties in there. So I left her up until uh, this morning. I turned her loose this morning. She's still not acting great, but she did go eat hay. Uh, she's been nibbling on the cubes that are left over over there. So hopefully we got her headed in the right direction. Hopefully, hopefully. Girls, y'all have a good night. Stay out of trouble. And with that, it's time to go inside. Go watch uh, Go watch a little of the National Western Rodeo. Round two was on a while ago. Gotta record it so I can watch it. Hey, speaking of the National Western, uh, January 21st. If you're interested and want to see what Highland cows go for, or at least registered Highland cows go for, uh, go to the American Highland Cattle Association website. I, uh, well, I'll have to find it. 
see if I can figure out how to put the link in the in this video but uh at 10 o'clock I believe mountain time they start the national sale watch it there's gonna be some great heifers and bulls go for sale in this thing it'll give you an idea of what highlands are selling for so enjoy it i'm gonna watch see y'all next time bye so i didn't edit this out i just didn't video it i'm glad i didn't so everybody's happy however there was like one and i'll go find her she decided to meet me at the gate and go through in my haste and hurry to try to get through i forgot an important thing i forgot to close my door so i caught it on the post now on a good note i knocked that off which i was able to put back on i did not shatter my door which i know has happened with other people Oh, my bay almost got pretty crappy. But we did better. No harm, no foul, I guess. At least that's what Duncan says. The culprit to all this was Duncan's mama. There she is. Yes, you. That's her, right there. Ariel. She was my problem child today. Anyway. It is what it is. Live and learn. So back to the uh, marketing thing. The uh, websites for American Highland Cattle Association has really good marketing brochures you can order. If you're a member, they're free. Uh, they also have other other ways to help you in marketing. The Heartland Highland Association also has uh, some brochures and, and they help in marketing also. Uh, so there are many ways to market your cattle. Again, like I said, I will be, I won't be taking any auction this year simply because the next uh, auction in Missouri I will be on vacation and will not even be in the country probably my last vacation to really take as far as taking a week off and, and, and leaving the country or leaving the state so it's one of those things when you start getting animals your vacations tend to go away so we had more goat babies today. Uh, had two more, a boy and a girl. I do not have videos of those, not yet. They'll probably be coming next week. Anyway, please like and subscribe. At least hit that subscribe button. Right now that's important. I prefer to have likes also. Uh, but you know, if you don't, you don't. I know I'm bad about watching a lot of YouTube videos and not hitting the like button. But I do subscribe to them. So, please, subscribe, and we will see y'all next week, depending on my work schedule, depending on what day. <laughs>